So it's me, your boy, it's Hamsen. I have something special, unique for us today. You know, they can't keep you down. You know what I'm saying? They can't keep you down. Listen, we, 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 we are too powerful. You know what I'm saying? We are too powerful. They can't keep us down the way they keep the rest of others. They can't manipulate us the way they manipulate others. Because our blood is too hot. <laughs> our blood is too red. It's not about where you come from. We don't care. They can't keep us down. Because the cross have made us whole. <laughs> you have seen? The cross have made us what? Whole. <laughs> the Bible says Jesus said to them, He said, lose him and let him go. They can't go. Listen, Jesus ordered them. He said, lose him. Lose and let him go. Bring him to the to this place. When he said to what? When he said to Peter and the apostles, he said, Go and bring that horse that no one have ever ride. <laughs> say, lose him. <laughs> Cast the stone. The Bible said when Jesus was about to raise now, you know, when he was about to raise a, a man from the stone, he said, Remove the stone. Listen, people can't keep you down because everything that they put on your way to stop you, the moment you come close to it, it becomes your what your stepping stone. We are, we, are, we are too powerful to be in one position. We are too powerful to be limited in one place. We are too powerful to keep in one situation because we know where we are going. No matter the obstacle, winners win. No matter the trouble, winners win. No matter the pain, winners win. So it does not matter who is against us. Because the Bible says, surely they will, surely they will gather. <laughs> but not by our Father. And surely they will all scatter. Because every tongue that rises up against us, in judgment they shall all do what? Condemn. So it, it's not about where, where you come from. We don't give ear to what they are saying. So chosen, you need to understand that what you carry supersede what you are saying that's why if you are up there people are still telling you you can't succeed without them <laughs> you need to shake up your hair like this you need to shake it like this tell them no 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 what you are saying is what you believe what you are thinking is what you believe and what you have in mind is whom you are because the bible says man think it so he is. So we don't think of what of quitting. We know that we must surely encounter garbages like them. <laughs> so it's, it's not about uh, they are telling you you can't succeed, you can't make it. Who tell them where they come from? <laughs> according to according to my mentor, he said, who born them? Who born them? Who goes them? Who do them? So they, 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 they can't limit you. And that is something that do that hurts their, what, their inner spirit. They can't limit you because we are on what undestroyable. We are unpeatable. They can't peel, peel you down the way they do to others. They can't limit you the way they limit others. They can't frustrate you the way they frustrate others. They can't destroy you the way they destroy others. Because he that dwelleth in us supersedes all. He that with us supersedes all. It does not matter who they are. <laughs> <laughs> but the Bible says, greater is he that dwelleth in us than he that dwelleth in them. So no matter who is against you choosing, the truth is this. When God says yes, nobody on earth can say no. So what the enemies are saying behind you, what the enemies are doing behind the scene, what the enemies are producing, pronouncing, that don't count. It, 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 it can't work because... We are wounded for by his stride, and we are broke down. You know, we are wounded by his word, by his stride, and we are brought down. And by his stride, we are made whole. What does that tell you? We, he, he was wounded, and yet we are still what able to stand up by his own stride. That means no matter the stride the enemies may do, or no matter the enchantment against Jacob, Israel will still progress. There is no jubilation against the house of Jacob. No enchantment against the house of Israel. So it does not matter who is against you. It does not matter what... It, it, that really frustrates them. No jubilation. No strike. Nothing. The Bible says, on the cross he concluded, it is finished. So people who are doing, who are saying, who are talking, they are just talking what? To be what? To talk. They are just talking to talk. Why? Because there is nothing... That is going to affect you. 
because in your body you bear the mark of Christ and that is why many of them are unhappy because the more they talk the more they realize that you are succeeding the more they talk the more they realize that you are elevating the more they talk the more they realize that you are increasing the more they talk the more they realize that you are becoming fruitful every day you are increasing in all ratification you are excelling in all angles so that is why they truly hate you not because of the fact that uh, that you are you are only succeeding but what piss them off is that you keep even what progressing succeeding despite of that evil that you have been doing so our blood is too hot to be a failure our blood is too hot to do what to keep to, to lead us to that place of quitting or to that point of quitting our blood is too powerful to uh, what our blood carry what the amazing grace <laughs> how can we quit? How can we surrender when the author refused to surround himself to the dead? How can we be limited when the maker refused to allow the storm to do it, to overpower him? How can we be destroyed whereby on the cross and even in the grave he is still with Christ? <laughs> so people who are telling you you are this you are that they are just making the worst mistakes so ever because the truth is this they can't be able to limit you they can't be able to destroy you and they can't be able to destroy that which god have given to you and that is why many of them are frustrated that's why a lot of them are pissed off because nothing that they are doing that is working the way they expected and that is really hurting and frustrating them. May God bless you. Remember blessed.